It's Saturday morning, August the 7th, 2021, and it's a pleasure and a privilege to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word today. For morning devotions, we're going to be reading again from Proverbs chapter 14 this morning, verse 13, just the one verse, and we'll talk about that for a few moments. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and we're going to read, as I said, this verse from Proverbs chapter 14, verse 13. If you have your Bible on hand, turn there with me. The Bible says, even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful, and the end of that mirth is heaviness. And this kind of reminds me of Solomon's view of life in the book of Ecclesiastes. He said over and over again, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. And his conclusion about life under the sun was that it's just not that fulfilling. And he says here in Proverbs 14, 13, even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful and the end of that mirth is heaviness. Looking for satisfaction outside of the things of the Lord is kind of a fruitless search. People won't find real joy, real happiness outside of the Lord. But in Christ, there's true joy and contentment and peace. And a person can disguise their heavy-heartedness with laughter and mirth for a little bit. But the Bible says even in that, there's sorrowfulness and heaviness, and a person can't really get away from their problems. What a blessing it is to know that God doesn't have any problems and everything we commit to him, he will guide us through and we may find ourselves stuck sometimes. We just need to turn to the Lord and trust him to get us through those times of difficulty and seek his guidance and seek his Holy Spirit's leadership to help us to know what we should do. That is the path to peace. I'm reminded of Philippians chapter 4, where the Bible says in verse 6, Be careful for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. That's verse 6. Don't, don't be worried about things. Pray about them. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds by Christ Jesus. And then verse 8 speaks of thinking on the right things. And those things which we have learned and received and heard and seen, we do. And the God of peace shall be with you. God has the answer to our burdened condition, to our burdened heart, to our sorrowful heart. We look for joy. We look for happiness in the wrong areas sometimes. But the peace of God passes all understanding. And may we look to him continually and rely upon the Lord continually because he has the answers. And as I said, he doesn't have any problems. He knows what the solution is, and he is well able to, to accomplish it for his honor and glory. Just trust the Lord. Just look to him and commit your burdens to the Lord today. God bless you.